I will now show you how to work with the route parameters. Here is a route that is a home route. Now I am going to copy this and I am going to create another route that is for example the about route. And I am going to return a view that is for example about view. And I am going to create a view file here about dot blade dot php. And in this file I am going to write some code for example about us okay now this is my route that is about and I am going to run my application that is here here now I want to call the about route you see that the about us this is coming because I wrote the code in this file and that is about us you already know this thing but what is route parameter route parameter means you see that this is the route name right and after that I am going to put a slash and then I will use a curly brace in the curly brace I can write anything for example I am going to write username this username is not actually the fixed string for example about username not like that about is the string in the route that is okay but this username is not a static this is completely dynamic that means you can write anything as the second parameter here after about slash here you can write anything so what you will write here that you will have to receive into the function and that will be as a variable and so this value username i am going to receive into my function as parameter that means in this function i can use this and this is actually variable now you see and i will pass this variable into my view file so here you see that this is about and here I put a comma and as the second parameter I am going to write an array in the second parameter and in this array I can pass this variable okay. So here you can write any string here and here you will have to give the value as username. So this is the parameter you can write anything here not username is fixed uh, username is not fixed you can write anything here and this username will be taken using this variable into the view file about that means this username variable I can use in the about view. So here I can like uh, I, uh, I for example PHP tag I can write like this and here like traditional echo in php i can use that username so this is very simple if i now go to my route and as the second parameter i can write anything for example rfin you see that that is coming into my view as the output you can write anything here patrick you can see that this is coming that means it is working but instead of writing like this in the blade file because i am using the blade so i can easily write the blade syntax double curly brace starting and ending and just write this no echo is needed to write here just you can put your variable here this will work similarly right so you can easily write any php code as echo in the blade file in the blade format so I am going to refresh you see that the same output is here. So in this way you can use the parameterized route that means route parameters like this. If you want you can also use multiple parameters for example I can give here another slash and I can give here another one that is for example id or as. So in the function I will have to write another variable as parameter that is s for example and this one i will have to pass into the about view as this is an array so i can use the second element in the array that is s then the value is s that means this is variable now i can use here so here i am going to write another thing that is user username is this is the output and as is this is my as so you can easily write something like this now i am going to show the output sorry here are two parameters now person name and as you see that 
the user name is patrick and age is 50 that means the first one is coming here the second one is coming here i can use here for example rfin 30 you see that here is rfin and here is 30 so this is working perfectly so in this way you can easily use the multiple parameters in route if you want instead of writing like this you can make it more simple i am not going to remove it i am just going to comment it out copy this line and here i am going to write this thing in another way that is using the compact function so in this way you can write easily the parameters here first one is username second one is yes this is more simple format if you go to check the output you see that the similar things coming in the output i hope you have understood how to work with the route parameters